Acting Minister of National Security Fitzgerald Hines confirms the registration of Venezuelans process begins on Friday, May 31st throughout June 14th, with the exception of June 5th, the Eid al Fitr holiday. He says the government encourages all Venezuelans to register. Registration centers will be at the Queen's Park Oval in Port of Spain, the Achievers Banquet Hall in San Fernando, and the Caroline Building on Wilson Street, Scarborough, Tobago. Meanwhile, government has dismissed images shared online of what appeared to be a draft version of the new Venezuelan identification. That is not the final card. It, in fact, it does not even resemble what will be the final card which is yet to be made available to them, yet to be approved by the Minister of National Security, yet to be printed. Minister Hines said the registration process will not guarantee that a card would be issued. It is at the discretion of the Immigration Department. He added that the card would have security features to ensure that it is not replicated. And Acting Prime Minister Colm Imbert dismissed claims that the registration process or exercise is a ploy to persecute Venezuelans. It is the opposite. We're simply trying to legalize persons who are currently illegal. We're trying to make something that is wrong, make it right. There's no trap here. We have no sinister motives whatsoever. With the Venezuelan migrant issue a hot topic in the country and the registration process scheduled to begin this Friday, THA Secretary of Infrastructure, Quarries and the Environment, Kwesi Devines, said we must be our neighbor's keeper. The reality is, as signatories to the United Nations, as good human beings, mm -hmm. we have to do our part as humanitarians first and foremost. Of course, within the, we have constrictions as any other country. We have limitations with resources as any other country in the world. And we want to ensure that the people of Trinidad and Tobago are always seen about. He added that the Ministry of National Security is responsible for all aspects of the registration process at the Caroline Building at Wilson Road in Scarborough, Tobago. Finance Minister Calm Imbert does not agree with the central bank's figures on how much the Venezuelan migrant situation will cost the state. On Tuesday, during the official launch of the Financial Stability Report, the central bank governor said hosting Venezuelans in this country could cost the state upwards of $0.6 billion per year. So if one is logical about all of this, the numbers that would affect the budget for 2020 are very small. The persons who already have been here and could possibly be affecting the budget, and we don't agree with that, are the vast majority of Venezuelans in Trinidad and Tobago, so that it is not rational to do a calculation like that, assuming that 40,000 Venezuelans will come here tomorrow. It is not rational. So we in the Ministry of Finance do not agree with those calculations. The acting Prime Minister said 40,000 Venezuelans are not arriving in Trinidad and Tobago in 2019. He gave official figures according to data from the Immigration Office. From 2016 to 2019 is 12,257. And prior to 2016, the numbers who registered with the UNHCR as um, persons seeking asylum was less than 26. In 2016, it was 26. 2017, 1,099. 2018, 7,062. 2019, so far, 4,070.